Hey what's up everybody my name is Vikas Singh and you are watching Andro Guruji today we are going to talk about Evolution X after a long time on our Poco X3 Pro so first of all you can see here the Evolution X latest custom ROM 6.2.2 comes with Android 12.1 or you can say 12L this ROM is comes with latest smoothness of Android 12L all of the things like in this setting menu and you can see here the smoothness of this ROM is absolutely fine and i don't face any lag and stutter right now in this room guys this room comes with this google dialer so yes you will get that annoying announcement but after root you can simply remove this or check out other things on youtube to remove this i did unto do test geekbench test and also i played game on this room so you will get idea where this room stand right now this is the latest build i found and yes i am little bit late on this video don't worry about that. that i will clear all your questions in this video guys first of all we can see that stock look of all things yes you will get this drawer in left side this room supports also the theme part so yes you can change by theme by theme icon here and you will get all the icons not all of the apps support this but yes the mainstream apps support this theme look let's go into the setting and check what is new in this room guys so first of all the evolver is always here there is theme part uh, first of all here and you can see the use black theme personally i missed this option in every room i used uh, till now but this room is giving this features then you will get monen tinjan dark theme then you can change fonts here icon pack signal icon wifi icon and lot of other things you can see here then you will get status bar option here and this one is crashing you can see here let's come to the again on this yeah no crash again here but first time i got the crash uh, as you can see here you will get all the status bar setting you can change customize as your preference you can see here then you will get this notifications are ticker and all the things you can see here like battery light blinking flashlight from incoming call abhi kon use karta hai blink flashlight <laughs> so you can see here this one option is also here then you can see here some essential option like vibrate on connect vibrate on i missed this in custom room sometimes so here you can see this option also given in this room let's come to the next setting quick settings yes so here you can customize your qs panel sort of you can see here all of things like battery estimate and art media work you can change here from this menu also you can see here the uh, brightness slider where you want that brightness slider up or down or where so yes good customization for qs panel too here then you can see what you want in power setting so you can see here the you can on on the go mode from power menu if i on this screenshot you can use that screenshot button or setting button let's come to the gestures part first of all we can see here system settings yes there is all essential gestures available in this room like swipe to screenshot or playback control double tap or prevent vibration quick tap option is also here you can just back tap and uh, quick tap is detected you can take screen shot like this so that is cool but sometime it doesn't work it is in beta stage right now so sometime it gives issue but you can see five of three times it work perfectly i don't feel uh, that much issue sometime it is it doesn't work but fine in beta stage let's come to the lock screen part lock screen part again it is crashing why i don't know but uh, there is some issue in this rom right now uh, sometime it crashed when we use this evolver setting or open options in uh, in the evolver setting then you can see button animation also miscellaneous setting is available here in miscellaneous setting you can check out uh, there is unlimited photo storage option available unlock higher fps in gaming unlock higher uh, quality in stream all of three is option is available in this room so yes you will get all of these feature in this custom room i also personally check this thing is worked or not but yes it is working fine in this room completely i played bgm i for half an hour and got the idea of fps how it is giving in this room there is also option screenshot type you can check drag section on area you want Want to take an as screenshot or take full screenshot. So both option is available for you. So you can choose one of them if you want. Then you will get some developer options to show CPU info, toast app icon, USB configuration, and radio information. These all option is also available in developer section, but there is some. 
ऑफ दैम ऑप्शन इन दिस सेटिंग लेट्स कम टू दिक्योरिटी एज यू कैन सी दिक्योरिटी इज समथिंग न्यू आई फाउंड हेयर एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो सी दैट देर इज समथिंग न्यू आई थिंक दिस इज द ऑप्शन ऑफ ट्वेल्व पॉइंट वन सिक्योरिटी इनहेंसमेंट इज हेयर गाइज इन ट्वेल्व पॉइंट वन यू कैन सी इन एवोल्यूशन एक्स यू विल गेट दिस टाइप ऑफ ऑप्शन यू विल गेट ऑल्सो स्पेस अनलॉक एंड फिंगर प्रिंट इन दिस रोम सो यू कैन यूज दिस ऑल्सो इन बैटरी यू विल गेट द थर्मल प्रोफाइल ऑप्शन सो यू कैन चूज वन of them for the performance or for gaming or whatever you want to tell the app which app is for what purpose so you can choose from here let's come to the sound part and what's new in this sound part i don't found any new things in this yes pre app volume control is here this will allow you to set different volume for each app so this one is good option i guess for gamers or for music lovers and all of them there is also drag sound enhancer which comes with the stock ui 2 you will get this sound enhancer drag sound enhancer or me sound enhancer you can check it out there is also option to control your haptic feedback levels so yes it is working fine in this device you can check it out by yourself this room comes with all the major thing which you need in daily life the game is okay okay in this room i don't feel that enhancement in gaming also i don't feel this room is ready for gaming uh, i played one or two hours gaming on this device uh, on this room personally and i don't feel this is uh, something i want from a gaming room. I played one or two hour BGMI on this uh, custom ROM, and I don't feel this ROM is right for gamers. The past version of this ROM was way better than this one in gaming category. So I can say this ROM is not for gamers ready right now. Let's come to the performance part and check out the performance of this ROM. So first of all, we open this uh, Antutu benchmark. We already tested the Antutu benchmark, and you can see five lakh sixty five thousand score on this ROM, uh, which is near. the stock you can say also next we can see here cpu throttle test i already done this test you can see the performance is stable but not for gamers again i can say that the peak performance was 184 gips average was 165 and minimum is 161 it is good performance you can see here the uh, stability of the rom is good in performance part but again you can see the major drop in just one or two minutes and then rom gives you a flawless and smooth performance next we can see here geekbench score the single core score is 739 and multi core score is 2208 so this is the complete review of this poco x3 pro as you can see guys i am trying to create video in english so please support in this too i know my english is not that much good but i am trying my best and if you guys support me my english will get improve slowly slowly so thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed this video a lot if you like this video please subscribe our channel and yes don't forget to follow me on instagram and twitter for latest updates